Here's why we did this. The reason we have these lists is because this is the key to what makes people, individuals who make up your team, who they are. And the more you can understand about this, the more you understand what they value. Later this afternoon, we're going to talk about leadership, but I'm going to start that conversation right now. Uh, any, any of you who are uh, leaders right now or who aspire to be leaders, by the way, here's what I need you to understand about leadership. Leadership is not about a title. Here's what leadership is. One of my mentors, other than Dr. Tim, Dr. John Maxwell, probably the number one leadership authority in the entire world, said it this way. He's always saying leadership is influence. Nothing more, nothing less. How many of you feel like on some level that you influence somebody in your life, whether it's a sibling, whether it's a parent, whether it's a friend? Okay, we all have influence, whether we like it or not, right? He said this. He said influence is adding value to the lives of people. Now, I had the opportunity to talk with Dr. Maxwell. One of my certifications, I went away to be a John Maxwell speaker, trainer, and coach and got certified. But I got five minutes with this dude. Five minutes. And so I said, listen, this has been driving me crazy. You're saying leadership is influence, nothing more, nothing less. I think I get it, but what is influence? He says, that's simple, Dwayne. Influence is when we add value to the lives of people. Influence is when we add value to the lives of people. And he says, here's the thing. We can't add value to the lives of people until we first understand what it is they value. I said, that sounds like a bunch of double talk, Dr. Maxwell, honestly. He says, he says hang with me for a second. When we understand what it is they value, then we can work hard to give them more of or help them get more of what they already value. When we do that, we influence them and when we have that kind of influence they like us they know us they trust us and by default we're in a position of leadership everyone in this room is in a position of leadership leadership is influence nothing more nothing less influence is adding value to the lives of the people the reason i had you did this activity right here is because every day you have the opportunity to influence somebody and you can do it in a positive way but it starts with understanding what it is that they value. This is the key to what makes people tick. I heard somebody say motivation. He said, you can motivate by fear and you can motivate by reward. How many of you know people who try to motivate by fear? Don't point, don't point. How many of you know people who try to motivate by reward? He said, motivation can, you can do it by fear, you can do it by reward, but both of those are temporary. The only lasting thing is self-motivation. If you understand what people like, what they need, what they want, and what they expect, and you can help them get it, you influence them, and therefore you lead them. So here's what I want you to understand about your choir and about your marching band experience this year, okay? I want you to think for a second, and in fact, go to a clean sheet of paper. I want you to write down three things that you really want from your choir or marching band experience in the coming year. What do you want to see? What do you ex want to experience? Three things. If you could have these three things these big three things, it would make your experience awesome. Three things. It can be whatever you want them to be. Three things. Just that's between you and you. Now, if I knew or had to guess, those three things came from some version of this or some version of what you have on your billboards, either from a personal space or from your music space. Listen, I, the reason I loved band so much, the reason I showed up and kept coming back or some of the reason I told you, but at the end of the day, it was this. I didn't believe there was anything else I could do. I wasn't an athlete. I wasn't good at math. 
There's a lot of things I couldn't do. In fact, when it was time to pick a career, I was scared that there was no career that was going to be right for me, that I, that I would be a failure, that there was nothing that I could accomplish. So what did I do? I went to school in music because it's what I loved. It's what I knew. It was what I, I had no idea what I was going to do with a degree in music. In fact, especially music performance. I got my degree in music performance on the saxophone. Now, does anybody know what you do with a degree in music performance on the saxophone? Let me help you. Let me help you move back home with mom and dad. That's that's what you do. <laughs> that's what I did. Now go ahead. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say get a job at a coffee shop. Get a job at a coffee shop. Something like that. Or uh, move back home with your mom and dad. But that's my, my point. Being is, and, and I've come to find since then that's not the way it is at all. That degree gives us some great skills if if we go out and get it. But the point being is, is that I didn't think I could do anything else. This was my passion. This was my love. This was my family. This was my community. And you don't know what that is for other people. But you know what it is for you. So here's how you get that. You see what you got writing on your paper right there? Here's how you get it. I promise this is the way you get it. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to hold your hands right here in front of you. And I want you to pretend that you have a gift. It's wrapped however you want. It's wrapped however you like it. It's pretty. It's the best bow. It's whatever paper you want. But this is your gift. This gift is your marching band and choir experience in the coming year, okay? And you can have that gift. Here's how you're going to get it. Take it, and I want you to set it aside and put it next to you. I want you to take your hands off of it. And I want you to forget it exists. Because here's what I want you to do. Here, what, hear, me, hear me out. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to put it aside and forget it exists, and here's what I want you to do. I want you to forget that a gift, and I want you to go out, and I want you to help every other person in your organization get what it is that they need, they want, they expect, what they value from their choir and marching band experience, and here is my guarantee and promise to you. When you come back to get that gift that you wanted so much, those three things that are on your paper, when you go to pick it up, everybody reach for your gift, it'll be too heavy. It'll be too big. You won't be able to pick it up. It'll be greater than you could have ever imagined it would be. But it's a paradox. Because if you hold tight to your gift, the three things that you really want, and you go after those ruthlessly and focused in and of yourself, chances are you're not going to get that gift. But when you set it aside and you go help other people, adding value to them, helping to get them what they need and they want and they expect, your gift grows. You come back and your experience in choir and marching band next year is greater than you ever could have imagined. That's my promise to you. And that's why it's so important to spend time knowing who the individuals on your team are. What do they need? What do they want? What do they expect? Leadership is influence. Influence is adding value. Adding value is understanding what people come to the table and why they're here. And then working as hard as you can to help other people get their experience. Because when you do, you get your experience. All right? All in favor say aye. Aye. All right, cool.